here to play with a lovely kit <clears throat> that is by Paper Cameo. It's called Posy Post. And I saw a project done with this kit by Little Red Papery. I think I'm saying that right. Or Pap Terry? No, Papery. I think it's Little Red Papery. I'm not sure. But anyway, she made this wonderful, fun thing with uh, the Paper Cameos kit. So I loved it so much, I wanted to make one. Um, I thought it'd be a great way to hold the ephemera from this kit. So when I'm creating, because she has great pieces for, for working with, I could find the pieces easily because inevitably I have so many digitals and so much stuff pre-fussy cut. I forget where I put things or what I put them in or where are they or what book are they in. So this way, they're in her kit and I can find them. Now, it's a beautiful kit. I'm not on her design team or anything, but um, I think the whole kit's here I can show you and then what we're going to make out of it. I started it and I thought, oh, turn on the camera. Maybe they would like to come along. Now, um, this is one of the pages. I thought I would show you. Isn't it beautiful? Just gorgeous. Because I want you to see what I'm working with. Oh, that's two of the same page. Yeah. You know, a lot of times I'll make multiples so that I can do things with them. Isn't that a great page? And then we have gorgeous ephemera which i printed mine on my heavier cardstock same with the envelopes and then you have all these fabulous stamps this is all for letter writing look at these aren't these yummy and then this is the paper i chose for the backs I actually backed that itself and then i backed this one with that paper because i wanted to do something with that then these are the postcards and um get a couple different pages of that and did I show you this page? I don't think I did. So there you go. So that's the kit that I'm playing with today. Um, and oh, right side up. Let's get these things upside down. Um, that's the kit. So I thought I'd show you just so you know what I'm working with. And um, I've printed it more than once, as you can see. Like I said, the little red papery, she made the most, I love her work. She is on the design team for the Paper Cameo, and she does the most wonderful things with the Paper Cameo's kits. So I want to give her credit, um, credit where credit is due. I'm going to move off our lovely lace because I don't think we'll need that. Let me put that, let me put that off to the side so I won't get it. I love this piece. I use it for everything. I, I bought it to use, but I, so far I haven't because I love it so much. <laughs> Silly girl, right? So what she made is a couple of items with it. Um, one of the things she made was a stamp book. And she used this piece. So I'm going to do the same. And she used vellum pages. And then these are some of the things that I've already pre-cut. And she made an envelope, but I mine, it, mine came out totally different. Nothing like hers. Um, I messed it up twice, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, you know. I know it needs inking, that I do know, so um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on my desk today because I'm just, I bought the mat to use, yes, but the glue is getting crazy, and you really see it whenever I turn on, like, certain lights, you know, so anyway, oh, no, no, not that one, no, 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 no this one yes here we go so what I want to do is I'm going to ink this I made this as an envelope to put envelopes in but my envelopes don't fit so I thought that's not going to work so I'm not sure what it's going to get used for probably I'll make it into a little clutch of some kind um because like I said I messed it up royal made it too big too small put a gusset in it saw it to see if that would help it really didn't but you know I'm not done with it yet. I'll come up with something. I mean, I have an idea already. I just haven't implemented it yet. It will be an envelope, I think, for sure. I do want to ink the inside of the envelope. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and glue it all down because I think that'll make it easier. So this was made out of uh, one of the plain pieces of paper, and I added the... Um, little thingies on it so I'm not gonna go far with that because I'm pretty I pretty much tried to ink everything but um, while we have this out and I'm already playing with it what I was thinking was I would make sure that we got the 
I feel like it needs like a um, accordion on the side. That might work. And how do we get an accordion? Well, we do some folding. So we're gonna need some scrap paper for that. Hmm. Might wait on that a minute. I'm gonna go to the stamp book. That's the thing I really wanna do. Now I've already cut some vellum strips to go across the page. I am gonna stitch them on at some point, but I think we can start by gluing and then um, I'll go around the edge with a zigzag stitch, I think is what I'm gonna do. So I think I've inked, I've inked my vellum and I think the first thing I'm gonna do is, and I cut them the length of the, so this was the page, came like this. I rounded the corners and inked it. I printed the lacy bit on the inside. I cut vellum the length and inked all the vellum. And there's two sides to this vellum. So I'm going to fabric tack my vellum, which I've always found it to work very well. I'm trying to do it well, but I cannot do it to save my life. Even if I lay it down on the paper, I don't do any better. It's just those hands of mine are not very steady. Okay. So what I want to do ah, is I want to... I want it to be on very tight, though. Let me get a little cloth. What are you guys up to? Making anything fun? Well, maybe after this, you'll want to make this project. Like I said, this is not my project. I did borrow this. And I'm going to put this one on in the middle and then one at the top. I think I'll go down a little bit and then... Now I inked it so that I could find the edges of the paper. Does that make sense? So that when you go to put your stamps in, you can actually see it because you know vellum will disappear right into your paper and then you're like, oh no. So we'll do this one. And like I said, when I'm all done, I'll stitch. But for today, I won't, I won't pull out the sewing machine. I'm not really feeling it. And of course I am As I'm feeling this, I've got this on the wrong side. This is a damp, wet one that I'd use in another project. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it to take that glue off there and kind of re-ink the edge. Okay, this is the side I wanted. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is crazy. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. See if I can do a better job on this one. I don't know how people do such a straight line. I do it slow. And I don't talk. You know how hard that is for me. Yay. Okay, we got it on there. Hallelujah. All right. Oh, and I need to do that end again. I didn't get enough on there. It's supposed to dry pretty quick. I mean... Even on a cold day, which today is cold and rainy when I'm filming this. I am filming this on Monday. Because I have appointments all week. Jolene and I have shopping to do. I have doctor appointments. We have appointment with the, um, the window guy. To come back, hopefully, and fix my window. At least do a temporary seal for the win winter and then maybe order a new window to be put in during the summertime. Because the window is leaking air and water and, you know, it's about 25 years old. The home's about 25 years old, so. Which is new by some standards these days. I mean, the home we sold was 22 years old at the time. That was 12 years ago, so 22 and 12 is 34 years old. Oh my gosh, can't believe that our first home here in this town where we live is was that old already. We bought it brand new. We're the only ones to ever live in it until we sold it. 
the neighborhood went downhill so bad. During one of the recessions that we had, a bunch of renters moved in and just trashed the neighborhood. Oh my gosh, it was a beautiful neighborhood. We all bought new, we all were proud of our homes. Then people sold and moved away and a bunch of people moved in that should never have been able to live there because they got the homes super cheap. And they just trashed the neighborhood. They turned it into rentals. Darn investors. I think investors are great as long as you take care of your properties and you make sure your tenants do too. Okay, off the soapbox. Anyway, so anyway, I have a busy week. So that's why everything's getting done on Monday. Otherwise, there would be no videos this week. Now, I'm going to let that dry a little. But I want to work on this cover. Now, um, the gal from Little Red Papery, I don't know her name. She had a label here that said stamps. And I have these fun little tins, um, tin toppers that go on like the tin boxes. These, here, I'll show you, these. And that's what they're for is these little boxes. And so um, I thought, well, it already says the word stamps. I wouldn't have to try to stamp it or do anything, you know. That's way too big. That's too big. The question is, do I want, which color do I want? I don't think I want the teal. I think I like that. Okay. So it means I'm going to have to cut those out and put them in the box, right? But I also stamped at one time just tons and tons of labels and um, onto printed papers. And so I thought this one might be pretty under this. Like that on that. So let's, let's cut this out and see if that's going to look good. Let's see how that looks on there. This way I didn't have to get out my rubber stamps because I don't have a stamp that says stamps. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't have a stamp that makes sense. That makes sense. I would have to use the individual letters, you know, and oh, A, time consuming, B, mm, I don't know how crooked it would end up. On her, she looked like she did stamp it. Um, but I, I'm not, I'm not that good, so. I was thinking maybe I could put that on that to give it some layers. Yep, and so we're making another cover. Oh, I have to show you guys, you know, in my last video, I made the cover for um, a, a um, sample cover for ephemera and oh, I do like the layering I mean that's cute by itself but I would definitely have to put some lace under that don't you think I, I would think I would need some kind of a lace but with the blue it picks up the blue in it and I really like it so I think we'll do that the only thing is do I want a piece of lace in there which I think I do if I have one wide enough but I don't, it doesn't go outside the box. Hopefully that makes sense. How about this? Yeah, 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 I like it. So we're gonna go there to about there. Scissors. Mm -hmm. It looks like I cut that crooked. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me fix that. What's new with you guys? Anything? Nothing new here. Since this was all done on a Monday, I don't know what my week held. I don't know how anything went, so I can't really share with you. I would love to if I knew, but that's the only problem with doing all your videos. And one day you run out of things to talk about. I know I told you I put my Christmas away, I believe. And I was getting some tests for my heart this week. I don't know how those went yet. And other than that, I don't really. Oh, I did a, um, I like a, I, I do a three-tiered tray on my island, my, um, my kitchen island. I have a big kitchen island. And I do a three-tiered tray. Um, it's actually three plates in a stand. And um, I decorate it for, I did it for, what did I do it for? Fall. Then I did it for Christmas, and um, so now I did, since Christmas is down, I did the, um, oh my gosh, I shouldn't push that up there. 
I did the um, Valentine's. And I also have a little cocoa bar, cocoa coffee bar, um, at the end of our cabinets that is there from the people before. It's supposed to be like a desk, but we don't use it as a desk. So we turn it into a coffee bar. So I turn it into a coffee cocoa bar. So now, thanks to Craft Purge, um, I watch her all the time. She, um, I think it's Craft Purge, she decorates it for the holidays. So each holiday or season, she started doing hers because she has the same thing as I do and didn't know what to do with it and decided to turn it in. She doesn't drink coffee. So she said, I'm going to turn it into a cocoa bar. And I thought, well, I drink cocoa all the time, almost daily. So I have been decorating that and my three-tiered tray. Maybe I'll stick some pictures up on um, Instagram. I don't know. No, on Facebook, not Instagram. I try to keep the Instagram mostly this kind of stuff. But occasionally I do stick some home stuff on there. Not very often. Just my work. Different crowd. There's too many men and stuff that like to follow you on that one. And so it's like, mm, my Facebook's much more controlled. So, okay. Let's... Oh, if you saw my last video, this one had... Um, <laughs> A volcano eruption this one my husband I asked him to open it so I could fill it we couldn't get it open it had such a hard um, what do you want to call it a suction in there it big old air bubble it would not open either one of us he had to go out and get his pliers to get it open and he said and it went whoosh when he opened it because I'm very careful not to get the glue all over it and so I was very shocked that we couldn't get either one and he's really strong get it open so we're like what the heck it's like what'd you do to this i'm like I, I i don't know but when it went whoosh he knew it was air bubble well there was an air bubble in uh, this one and it created a mountain of glue <laughs> there we go i think we got it i'm gonna move it over just a little bit so it's not in her hair like that i like it Okay, so I know what's in it. That all these... Oh, I fussy cut these. Did I show you? No, I guess I didn't. Hold on. Let me get it. All that page of stamps. Here they are. All fussy cut. And I also put... I also, out of scraps, I made some whale tails and some other things that can go into those pockets. Cool, right? I'll show you in a minute. We'll do that. We'll load it once I get this done. So I'm making a stamp folder holder. All right, let's see. We'll hold that. It's cold today, wet, damp. Oh my goodness, we've had rain, rain, rain. But let's see, if it's really Friday, if I were making this on Friday, it should be sunny today. I make it at Monday, and we have had storms all night long. It stormed rain and wind and, oh, noisy. It's like being inside the washing machine in my bedroom. Crazy. Um gotta cut those out i need to go into my i'm gonna put those behind me in my fussy cut and file pile i've got a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be fussy cut so i'm moving stuff along um now this is from tracy fox and it's her uh tin toppers i think uh tin topper kit too and then this was one of hers too that i pulled out to use for some stuff so gotta fussy cut that and it created my label box, which I'm, I love my little boxes. As you know, I use them all the time. See, I have my stamps in the one that says stamps. And then my words. See, these are her tins. And then I have my numbers. So. And those are stacked in my little tray next to my desk, as you know. If you've watched my video. Okay. Wrong color. I got pink. Now we're going to go. I'm going to ink it up a little bit. It's a little bit bright for me. There we go. There we go. Oh, I had not folded this. Well, it's dry. It should be okay. There we go. And then, see, I'm going to take my sewing machine and probably stitch there and then there, okay? Just so you know. Um, that way, I, I won't have to worry about them coming off. 
So there's our stamp folder. I feel like it's gonna need more. I feel like it's gonna need some other goodies, but maybe not, maybe just keeping it simple is okay. Don't always have to make everything like mega. So I cut stamps from the leftovers and I cut whale tails. And then on many of her pieces, she has these lovely um, faux wax stamps. Here's some more. That's her paper cameo, um, what do you want to call it, uh, logo. There. I cut those, and I cut every one of these with these scissors. Oh my gosh, it took me forever. Oh, there's some more whale tails. What else did I cut? Oh, I cut some circles. So what I want to do is I kind of want to put them by what they are. There's flowers. There's pink. Those are blue. Those are kind of the unusuals. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're sorting, 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 sorting. It's organizing. So what I'm doing today is organizing. Gosh, my wrists are swollen today. Oof. Okay. Um, red, pink, ouch, florals. That's blue, but it's floral. Ladies, more florals. Ladies, florals, ladies, ladies. Blue florals. I think I should put the blue florals together. The green one's there. Hmm. Up oh, there's some more of those. Because I think I'm going to kind of put them in their thing by their colors, you know, I think. Okay, so we want to load this. Let's see, I don't know. let me see what you can see so I know. I'm going to get some water. This is my third video of the day, so... <laughs> a lot of these ladies in blue so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them, mm, put them down here uh oh guess what I did okay had to get that off there before it was glued on there forever and always yeah, I'll probably have to unload this to sew, but I just had to show it to you as is. Okay. Then we have these other ladies. Oh, here's another one of these. Now these will go wonderfully with my um, Marie Antoinette as well as I have another um, Victorian journal that I have going that these would be great with. And I think I'll put my pink ladies up here. Pink ladies, isn't that cute? I don't want to put these in the other way because I might never get them out. I'm purposely not shoving them all the way down in there because I might not get them out. Okay, and then we have the green ladies. You know how I am about my Victorian images and things. I love them. Alrighty. Okay. And let's get these in there. Oops, upside down. Sorry, concentrating. 
my hubby's in the kitchen doing something, washing something. I have these blue ones. I'm kind of shoving the extra flowers in here because I want to use this one for the other things that I cut for the kit. Have to make sure I can still close this. Yep. Okay. I might put a little piece of fabric there or lace just to keep the help the binding a little bit. Since I'm not, this isn't lined, and I only put it on a light cardstock. And then, you know, we have the whale tails, so let's put those there. They match the kit. We have some of these lovely heart faux wax stamps. We've got butterflies everywhere that I cut in a little circle. And then we have the logo for the paper cameo. There we go. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Just by folding it in half. I do think it needs lace there, you guys. So let me see what I have. I have a real small lace here. I think might work. It's florally. Lacy florally. It's either that one or... Let me see. Where's my other one? Oh, this one. This one might be too wide. But I might like it better. I do like it better. Okay. Usually it's this one. This is my go-to spine lace. Oh, wait. Mm, I hear a train. We haven't had the train come in in a while. We do have a um, cannery here in town where they can tomatoes uh, several times a year. But this time of year, usually they're coming to get them to deliver to the stores. Um, they're not delivering the actual tomatoes to be canned which is oh a stinky proposition at certain times of the year when they're canning tomatoes. Oh my gosh, the smell is something. Luckily, uh, where I used to live for 22 years, we smelled it all the time. We were literally up the road from it. So if the wind hit just right, all you smell was, and it's quite a, the residual stuff that comes off of the canned tomatoes that they put into the sewer, which they got in trouble for doing that, um, is, oh, the smell is horrific. Okay. The train must be sitting on the track. Is it honking its horn like there's no tomorrow? Or it's got some, um, oh, the homeless tend to make stuff on the train tracks, not realizing they come from out of the area, and so they build their little encampments on the tracks, not realizing, thinking they're um, unused, but only one end of it's unused, not the whole thing. So that gets to be a problem. Then, then the train masters, like conductor is having a fit blowing his horn trying to get someone to come out otherwise he has to call the rail line and say hey yeah he's still blowing his horn there's something on the tracks yeah he's getting really irritated here something's not right if I can hear it I mean it's right in the middle of downtown I'm sure either the police or the fire hear it and are wondering what's going on, or there's something on the tracks that should not be on the tracks. Hopefully not a person. Sometimes they think that's a good way to commit suicide, but not in this town. Our trains don't. We don't have a commuter train. <laughs> we don't have anything that goes fast. We just have delivery for cans. I folded that. I put it on folded, and I got a big old gap, which I believe on my last video when I was putting on the cover I told you don't do that because you get a bubble and sure enough I just did what happens if you fold it I don't like hangover I like my I don't like the fabric hanging over the edges personally that's my personal thing but it looks pretty on some people's work just I just don't care for it on mine I always get that crooked why 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 I mean, I have to re-glue that. Let me fix that. I made a mess now. I made the mess. I made the messy. Oh, dear. I 
Boy, if I sew, I want to make sure I show at the very edge and same with the middle or it's going to cut down my space, isn't it? But look at that, a great stamp holder for the kit. It allows me to, no, I got it going too far that way. Oh my goodness. Why do I do things like that? Because I don't like it. It has to be perfect. No such thing as perfect, and I need to tell myself that. Just do the best you can. Just get it as close as you want it. Okay, that's better, I guess. I don't know. It's either one way or the other. I never get it straight. Okay, well, that's not pretty. It's a nice, pretty little folder. Now, I'll have to find a way to close that. Maybe put two little ring. I'll put the um, eyelets in there, maybe. And then I could just put, like... Um, um, a string or something through it. Or I could do, um, I could put some, what do you call it? Velcro. Maybe I'll do Velcro. Maybe two little Velcro strips right here. Something. We'll figure out something to close it with. Or we'll tie it close with string, one or the other. But it's not pretty. I really like it. Okay, so just using a pre-printed kit. Isn't that fabulous? And a few goodies. A little lace. So, we have a holder. Yay, I like it. For right now, I'm going to close it with this clip. I may just use a clip to close it and put some charms on it. That would be cute. Hang some dangles. Hangle dangle. Okay. I want to make sure I got that inked correctly. This is not back pretty. Oh my gosh, both sides of this are gorgeous. So no matter how I put it up, it'll be fine. The only thing is it's a little more wimpy than I would like. I think next time I'll put it on either a heavy cardstock or two layers. So recommendation. All right, heavier cardstock maybe. Oh, I used a light cardstock. All right, now this one is our envelope folder, holder. And I just took one of the pages, as you could see, and I added some lace and I... Um, use some dimensional tape and I cut out a Marie Antoinette photo and put it on there, picture, digital, fussy cut, and I put it on there with some um, tape that, you know, gives you dimension. And then you open it up and I used two of the pockets that she had on the inside of the page because the page was just flat. And then what I did was I cut the envelopes out of the kit. Here they are, aren't they pretty? So there you go. And then I have these envelopes over here and they're all cut out, ready to go. Three of them came with a kit, the other one came from another kit. And I have a bunch of other envelopes to make and cut out from a bunch of her different kits. She has all different kinds of envelopes. So I thought what I would do is create a bunch of envelopes. For now, they're gonna live in here because what I wanna do is I wanna create envelope stacks. Um, so full of goodies, full of these goodies. So. In the kit, besides the scraps, again, still paper cameo, for those of you who missed that at first. The paper cameo. I love her stuff, love, love, love it. I've gotten so hooked on it. I've started to buy so many of her kits. I am having to slow myself down. Tell myself, no, try not to buy anything Valentine's Day because I don't do Valentine's work, so it doesn't make sense. So what I do with these is this is what I cut a whale tail out of or a butterfly or something like that. So that's why I have not thrown them out. Um, and then the kit had some pretty tags and it had tons of postcards. And what I want to do is I want to um, round the corners off, ink them, and put them in some of the envelopes. Aren't they pretty? See, they match all the stamps. So what I want these for is projects. When I want to add <clears throat> a pretty postcard to a project, I will have these to use. So that's the reason for having a folder to put them in. And I might separate them out by like the flowers separate from like the ladies. Like these are all flowers. Those are birds and botanical and fruit and trees. So those would go. And then see, these are roses. And then I think these are all ladies here. Yeah. Like this would go great in my Marie Antoinette. This would go in my other, these would go in some of my other journals, my other fun journals that I have. Oh, see, that goes over in the botanical and the birds. So... 
And these can be used in projects. Like when I was looking to stuff envelopes the other day, I could have just opened this up, pulled it out and gone, oh, I have this and that, right? Or find the corresponding envelope if I actually put it into the envelopes. Like say I put all the ladies in the flower one and I put all the botanicals in here and I put all that, you know, fill each one up with goodies that correspond to that. So again, it's another ephemera holder. That's what these are as ephemera holders. So that's why we're doing these. It's making ephemera holders. More storage solutions, right? So that's what we have there. But these are going to require this kind of thing. So what I'll have to do is spend some time maybe watching TV or one of my favorite video artists and sit and fussy cut and, and not fussy cut, around corners and ink everything and get them ready to be used in journals so they are prepped and ready to go. Oh, and I put that pretty lacy piece on the back of all of them. So, so they all have something on the back and that's easily right on. So what I would want to do with the rest of these in front of the TV or a movie, I think I'll put a movie in maybe fun movie, you know, something that's just brainless. I love that. And just sit and watch one of my favorite movies that I don't really have to watch because I've seen it so many times. I know exactly what one I want to do. Might be my Marie Antoinette movie. I have a movie with uh, Kristen Dunst. I love that. I love to put it on. So pretty. It doesn't have a lot of talking in it, which is nice. I mean, it does. Or one of my other millions of movies, like Pretty Woman or whatever. So as you can see, that's what I need to do to all of these. And then they'll go into their corresponding envelopes. And get used. But this was supposed to hold my envelopes. But see how they are... Well, they fit barely. I guess I don't have to close the ends. I could just add a string. Why don't we just add a string? Maybe we don't have to close it, right? I don't think we need to. Let me see if I have, I think I have some pretty blue string. Um, Baker's twine. Give me a second here. Oh, things are going to come flying. You know how it is. Because I'm short. I'm five one and three quarters, so... Not tall, short arms. I didn't know Gail's 5'7". Oh, she's so much taller than me. If I stood next to her, I'd feel like a binky girl. Big sister is a big sister. <laughs> Aha, like that. I like that blue. What do we think? Pretty, right? So let's do... Oh, I forgot to see what time I started the video. Oh, you guys, your bird brain friend. Hello. Um, we're 39 minutes in. 39. So we're nine minutes. Oh, I can never figure this out. So maybe about 20 after three. Um, let's see, 30, 8, 9. Yeah, I think... I don't know. I can never figure it out. Maybe about 20 after I'll check the time so we don't go over. Because the other day, you guys, when I did that video, that was an hour and five minutes. Um, it took my husband like three hours to upload it. He ended up pulling it and reloading it. It just would not load. It just takes forever when you do something like that. So we that's why all of us try to keep it right in the hour because we don't want to have to sit there for four or five hours. And then there's a point where you have to add all your stuff. Anyway, it's kind of complicated, but, um, I mean, it seems complicated to me, but, um, so yeah, that's like not something I want to do again. So I'm trying to keep them under the hour mark so we can get them loaded easily and, and not have issues because we hate it when they don't load. I mean, they just sit and you get the circle of death where it goes around, or the ring of death it goes around, 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 around. She goes where she stops. Nobody knows. She just doesn't go anywhere. So, yay. Okay, so we can put envelopes in there if we really want to and just, like, hold them. That might work. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to consider that one done. And I'm going to consider this one done. So those are done. This one is done, but I feel like it needs some, this one too, like they need some zhuzh, like they're too plain. You know how I am about plain stuff. <laughs> Can't do anything if it doesn't have lace. I must have lace. I must, I must, I must. Okay. Mm, I just heard my, um, 
my message went off. Probably Miss Gail. Could be a few other ones. Karen or um, let's see who else. Dawn. Some of you girls that, that know me on on um, Facebook. Find me on Facebook. Sometimes you guys message me. So I never know who's going to surprise me for the day. Sometimes my big sister, Junie, does that too. Not very often anymore. We used to talk on Messenger all the time. Um, when she worked, she would get a break or something, or she'd be in her studio. She has a basement studio where she quilts. She's a quilter, my big sister. My little sister is crochet, and um, she also has a um, embroidery machine. And she makes all those beautiful things that I show you guys periodically. So these little babies also, they are going to need, during my downtime, a whole lot of inking because these look fabulous inked, I have to tell you. You want to get rid of that white. You don't want to see it because these are quite a bit of fussy cutting. They're very intricate, which I love to fussy cut, so it's no problem. I was doing it while I was watching a video. But it needs this uh, inside and out. And I love doing I would do it on a video and just chat with you guys all day, but that would be awful boring for you. And I don't think you would find it. Well, some of you love this. And I know there are many, many of you with similar health issues to my own, as well as your own issues. And many of you say this helps you, you watch it, you enjoy it, it keeps you company, it teaches you things, it encourages you to get out of bed and do things. And I'm encouraging you to get out of bed too. Don't stay in bed, I know. I mean, some of your, some of your illnesses, you have no option, I know. I absolutely know that. But if you have the option to get up or you could get up, you could physically get out of bed, do it. Do it. Get out of bed and make something. Anything. I don't care what. Just make something. Crochet, hand stitch, make a journal, fussy cut, ink. Do something. Get out of bed. I can't encourage you enough. Don't live your life in your bedroom. I could and I have, but I'm telling you. It's, this is much more fun and exciting and it keeps your brain going and keeps you from aging and keeps your brain active, keeps you from getting Alzheimer's and some of those other nasty things out there. You got to use the brain if you use it or lose it, ladies, use it or lose it. So get out there and use it any way you can, whatever you can do. Even if you can only get out of bed and go sit on the couch and make some things, do it. Get out a TV tray, cut out some pretties. Make some scrappy doos. Get scraps, scrap lace, scrap paper, scrap anything, and make some stuff. You know what? I'm probably gonna seal these, so I don't probably don't need to do that. Actually, stopped. I stopped myself. Did you see me? I was going for it. I love to ink stuff. It's very soothing to me. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna close that up. And um, she shows in her, on her paper where the envelopes are, that these are on the outside instead of the inside because they're beautiful. And so I do mine the way she shows in her example. You can do it either way. I see, I'm going to have to add some glue. I'm afraid to, I'm afraid I'll get a, a mountain of a volcano again. I already had that volcano <laughs> wrapped earlier. So this is what needs to be done to these. So I'll be working on that. Now I can do that off camera. But I just want to show you because I won't show you this project again. Well, maybe when it's all done, I'll show you because, you know, I like to show you things when I'm all through. This I know needs lace. This needs to be gorgeous because she's so beautiful. I need some other stuff on here, but I don't really know what I need. I want some gorgeous, gorgeous lace here. What do I want? Hmm. I just love this. It has some nice heft to it, too. Here, good heft. Not wimpy like this one, or this is wimpy, too. So both of these, I would, if I ever made them again, or I'd remake them, I would put them on um, a heavy, heavy cardstock. And then I would, um, or glue it to cardstock. I got some glue on here, and this little thingy, a lot of times they'll take it off, but sometimes because this is just um, a copy, it'll take the color off. We don't want that, right? So we got that one and we got this one. Now this one has her lace, but she needs a prettier lace. Don't you think she needs something really elegant on the end? I think she does. I'm looking at my boards to, oh, let's see, what have I got up here? 
Look at my my wall of wonder. You know what wall I'm talking about, right? You guys know. You know. I know you know. And if you don't, go watch my studio video. <laughs> I'm not going to keep explaining where things are. Ooh, that's pretty. What if we did that? We could put that on the front. And then we could still put one more layer there. But we want that to come out pretty far. So we want that to about there, maybe. Mm hmm the ones going to the back too. I love the edge on this lace. Now, of course, that lace has no more edge, but that's okay. We don't mind, right? We don't mind. Edge. Mm. Mm. For my lovely wall. And, oh, I see some other fun stuff. Oh, your girlfriend's having fun. Let me grab. I need this to cut a piece from my wall. Um, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to cut one anyway. Don't mind me. I'll be there in a minute. I didn't leave you. I swear I didn't. Ooh, I grabbed the wrong scissors. These are too big. Oof, oof, oof. Stuff. Okay. Oh, hold on. Dropping things right and left. Knocking stuff off my wall. Ooh, oh, there we go. Mmm, I'm in the mood, can you tell? I'm in a decorating mood. Uh, oh yeah, that's the right side. I think we're gonna go clear over to her, almost all the way over. Cause that, I mean, that's like nothing exciting to look at right there, right? And the back, you don't look at the back, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put the lace on it, but I mean, if I cut the lace down, could cut the lace down, but I don't want to cut it too much. You know what? This would make a great lace bow or lace tie, so we'll put that aside, right? There we go. Let's go back to where we were. All right, you guys, let's see if we can do it. What time is it? Oh, I got time. I got time. Let me see. Let me make sure my video is still playing. Oh, I only have 10 minutes. I don't have as much time as I thought. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, let's do it quick. Well, I won't get it all done, but you guys, you guys, maybe you get where I'm going with this. I don't know. We'll see. Here I am jabbering away. Look. I'm better off using a one of these. Russian because I was thinking I might add like some of this down the side it's a little baby pink isn't it oh there we go it's a little maybe not or I could add some I was thinking about another layer of lace and some pearls now I can I can ink it up a little bit to take off some of the preciousness. Oh, the hiccups, guys. Sorry. <laughs> That's pretty. Maybe I'll do it. What the heck? Why not? Why not? I don't have to play it safe all the time, right? Here, let me... I only trim lace some fabric with these, not paper. And away they go immediately, so I don't do it again. So I was thinking this would make maybe go on a little dangly or um, make a bow out of it or something. It's not cute. I'll have to do it right away so I don't end up using it for something. Okay, let me. I have a funny, hopefully you guys are seeing this all. I'm off to one side, aren't I? 
Goodness, let me get over here. Sorry. Got upset down and went in the wrong place. Goodness. All right. Let's see. I don't know if I like this, but if I don't... Oh, do I want to put another lace on there or just going to do this? I'm just going to do this. Okay, this is a little tedious, but I can do it. I cannot go over, you guys. I cannot, cannot, cannot. I get chewed out. Well, not chewed out. I get the look and I get the, well, it is a long video. That's why it won't upload. Like I said, there's thousands of these videos on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't need that last two. Okay, let me cut that off. Let me wipe that off and we'll just use that for something else. Oh, could we use it over here? We could, we could just use it right there. Or maybe we could use it like this. Let's see, we like that better? Which way we want it? Look at that, isn't that pretty? Okay, so now we have all these bits. This is gonna be fun. See if we can get these to roll over the side. Or I can pick it up and move it down. I might have to pick it up and move it down because I don't know if I can get them to, no. I don't wanna cut them off. Mm, okay. While it's, while it's still wet, I can rip it off there. Let me get it right to the edge. I have to get this in front of me. I'll be back to show you. Hold on a minute. There we go. I liked it on the very edge better, but those are gonna be a problem. So we can't have that, right? We can't have problems. And for some reason, I've got a broken thread right here that is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Do you guys like that? I do. I'm really happy with it. I think I might want a third little one of those right there. And add, I'm going to add pearls, I think. Oh, man. Well, there went that nail polish. Yeah. Yeah. Toasted to that finger, it's gone. Sometimes if you put the hand sanitizer on your nail, it'll stop it from eating your polish. Oh, it kind of did. Mm, not enough though. Okay, well, new manicure coming up. So we like that. Do we like that, you guys? I do, I'm really happy with it. I may add the lace, I may add the pink pearls in a bit. I'm not sure what I'm gonna add, but guys I have run out of time so thank you for coming along and hanging out with me while I played with a brand new project a new paper kit I hope you will go over to um, her shop and have a peek at what she does and her beautiful digitals and you'll check out little red papery she's on Instagram I don't know about her anywhere else I'm I'm not familiar with any of her other work I don't know if she's on YouTube I don't know if she's anywhere else so There you have it, look at this. Okay, oh, before we go real quick, real, real, real quick, look, look, look. I did not like the way my journal came out, so I added more goodies. I added all these roses and pearls. I did a word, I added this, so I changed my cover. You'll be able to see it in, in um, detail on Instagram on Wednesday. I'll probably have, well, maybe I'll put it up sooner. So anyway, I um, I did some more work on it because it just wasn't enough of me. It needed more. It needed more. So there you have it. So anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for coming along. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you maybe were crafting with me or just enjoying our time together. And um, I will see you all again very soon. And hugs and kisses, you guys. I love you. Mwah. 
Have a fabulous Friday and a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.